Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I am sharing my vintage clothing collection and this is a video I'm really excited about and it's one that has been requested for a really long time. So years ago I shared my vintage collection and since then it has grown and there were a lot of items that I actually did not share in that video. If you missed it, I will leave it linked down in the description box and you can also view it here after you watch this video. <laughs> um, so this one is just going to focus on my clothing items so I have a lot of dresses coats and nightwear I do plan to share more videos in this series covering more of my vintage collection including vintage home items beauty and vanity items and accessories and speaking of accessories this video is sponsored by Hanson shoes and I'm excited to chat more about them in a little bit so before I get into my vintage clothing collection I do want to share a little bit about myself as a vintage collector I started collecting from a young age I actually helped my great-grandmother in her antique store. She owned an antique store in my hometown and she collected a lot of really, really beautiful things. And so I learned a lot from her and I feel like I got my love of antiques and vintage from her and from my mom who is also a collector, although we all collect very different things. I would say that my vintage collection consists very much of my personal style. There's a lot of really beautiful, girly, feminine, pink, um, frilly, princessy type things. And that's just kind of my vibe. <laughs> I feel like that's always been my style since I was really, really young. I've always been very girly. And it just kind of spills over into all aspects of my life, my home, my wardrobe, um, even the places I go. And of course, that also spills into my vintage collection as well. And although I feel that I'm pretty knowledgeable about the things that I collect. Uh, I could be wrong, especially when it comes to dating things. Um, whenever I date it, I look at the tags, I look at the details, the brand, and also just the overall garment and how it looks, the shape of it, um, that sort of thing, and try to date it that way because sometimes it's hard to find information on certain pieces. So if I get something wrong, I'm sorry, <laughs> but I am just estimating. And if you are knowledgeable about um, any of the items, then feel free to let me know below and correct me. Um, I would be really grateful for that and happy to learn more if you have any information. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into my vintage clothing collection. So the first item is this beautiful top. This skirt is actually not vintage. <laughs> it's from Chicwish um, from maybe like a year or two ago, but I thought it looked really pretty with this top. So this is what it looks like. How beautiful. So it has this amazing Peter Pan collar and some floral embroidery. Oh, it is absolutely stunning. This one doesn't have any tags, so I'm not sure what the brand is. And just by looking at it, I'm thinking that it is probably 1950s, possibly early 60s, but I'm leaning more on the 50s just because of the Peter Pan collar and all the embroidery. Um, it is so beautiful. Found this one on Poshmark and it is one of my favorite vintage items to date. Out of all of my vintage clothing items, this one was probably the most expensive. Um, typically I try to find things for a deal, but this is just pristine condition and it is too pretty to pass up. It gives me Betty Draper vibes. I love it so much. This dress is probably my favorite out of all of my vintage clothing collection items. It is so beautiful. It's the most beautiful shade of light pink and it has this lace overlay. It goes all the way down and there's some little bows at the bottom. You've got some lace and ribbon. Then you also have some lace and ribbon up at the top and a sheer panel right here with a sweetheart and a little ruffly mock neck <laughs> with some ribbon. It is absolutely stunning. So this one is um, unbranded. The tags have been ripped out, so I don't know what brand it is. And for the date, it looks kind of like 70s, 80s-ish. <laughs> I'm gonna lean more towards the 1980s because it kind of looks like a 1980s prom dress, but it does have a little bit of a 70s vibe as well. I actually found this one from a local consignment shop and I wore it as my birthday dress a couple years ago. This is one of my recent favorites and I got it for a steal because it was in pretty bad shape when I got it. It was all stained, but I've since cleaned it up and it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's in this 
beautiful like rosy color and it has lace everywhere so you've got lace at the bottom around the waist along the chest area you have this panel with a little v a mock neck detail lace on the sleeves it is so beautiful <laughs> so this one is also unbranded but i'm going to say that it's 1970s maybe early 80s but it definitely looks like 1970s to me it is so beautiful and it gives me gunny sacks vibes <laughs> and um, it's just really really pretty and i love the gunny sack style so much which is kind of a bummer because everyone else does too and it makes the dresses very expensive. So I'm really glad that I found this one. This is a little two-piece set from Jessica McClintock and I'm going to say that it was probably early 80s. <laughs> it has the shoulder pads, but it just kind of has like an 80s look to it. It's so pretty though. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So it has this beautiful light pink lace and then some white trimming on the sleeves, on the hemline, and then, of course, on this really unique collar. The collar goes all the way around. It's so, so beautiful. And then you have another mock neck and some buttons that go all the way down. It's really cute. <laughs> so I'm not sure if they would have tucked this in or if the top would have been out, but I thought it looked better tucked in. Um, yeah, I... I have never seen another set like this and I just thought it was so unique and so feminine and uh, just really really pretty and fun fact <laughs> my prom dress was actually Jessica McClintock it was this beautiful hot pink like fairy tale uh, princess dress if I can find it I think it's at my mom's but if I can get to it then I'll show you guys um, but yeah absolutely love her designs this is a little shirt dress from a brand called Le Grand <laughs> and I think it is from the 1950s. <laughs> Definitely has that look. Another Betty Draper-esque piece. Um, absolutely gorgeous. So this one is in a really beautiful light pink color and it has lots of lace on the front and the back. It also has this beautiful collar and buttons that go down. Uh, this one is a bit more delicate than the other ones so I don't really wear it. For my vintage pieces I actually do wear most of them like some of the time. So sometimes for photo shoots and other times in uh, my daily outfits so it really just depends. Uh, but this one one I don't wear just because I don't want anything to happen to it. This is the last dress and it's not pink. <laughs> Although I did find the pink version and I'm really tempted to get it. <laughs> so this is from Miss Elliot and I personally think it's from 1960s, possibly early 70s, but I don't know. It just looks 60s to me. So it's in the most beautiful shade of light blue. It's like a vintage Cinderella dress. <laughs> it has a little sash tie at the waist and some pin tucking. And then there's some really pretty lace details at the neck and then also on the sleeves. And you have some sheer sleeves and it's just really 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 pretty it's so like twirly and comfortable i absolutely love this dress let's take a little break and chat about today's sponsor a handsome shoes i know that so many of you love shoes so i know that you're going to love them <laughs> if you're unfamiliar with hansons they are a local family-owned business based in the bay area they focus on footwear that prioritizes both comfort and fashion the perfect combo in my opinion <laughs> their mission is to make the world an easier place to walk in so i I got four pairs of their shoes and I have to say they are all so comfortable. This bionic shoe is the perfect little black sandal. It has an adorable bow detail and a very flattering design. Plus, it is so comfortable and easy to walk in, especially with the block heel. This would be a great heel for day or evening. This is another pair of bionic sandals, and although the heel height is just a tad bit taller, it is still so comfortable and easy to wear and walk in. This design is more modern and the metallic gold is so glamorous. These sneakers from Hoka are so comfortable and lightweight. They are perfect for the gym. A lot of my workout wear is very colorful, so the white goes with everything and they look and feel amazing on. And this pair of sneakers from Picolinos is perfect for every day. It's a little dressier than your average sneaker, but they're just as comfortable and it looks amazing with everything from jeans to dresses to skirts. 
These are just a few of the amazing brands and shoe options that Hanson Shoes has available. If you want to check them out, I will leave them linked down in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get back into my vintage clothing haul. And now we get into sleepwear. This is probably one of my all-time favorite vintage finds. I feel like it is totally me, and I have always wanted a vintage house coat. <laughs> so this one is unbranded. The tags are gone, but I would say that it's from the 1950s or early 60s. It just has that look to it. The pink is so beautiful. It's the most perfect shade, and um, it's just ultra girly and feminine. There's ruffles on the pockets and also ruffles along this little lapel here and there's quilting all over. It's so flattering and warm and cozy and this is probably the item that I wear the most out of everything. Um, I do wear it as like a daily house coat whenever I'm chilly in the house and I think it looks really cute and it's totally my style. This is possibly my best vintage clothing find to date. It is a vintage Christian Dior nightgown. How stunning is that? Oh my gosh, I love the floral print. It has this stunning light pink background with some pastel florals. There's some buttons that go down and there's also some little uh, lace detailing and some little bows with rosettes. I am obsessed. There's also lace on the sleeves. It is so so pretty and so comfortable. I would say that this is probably 1960s, maybe 70s. Um, not really sure. It also has pockets, <laughs> but it's amazing. I seriously don't want to take this off. <laughs> One thing I absolutely love is a good vintage matching pajama set. So this isn't matching, <laughs> but I do have the little peignoir so beautiful. I love the sheerness. It's in the most gorgeous lilac shade and there's lots of lace. There's a little ruffle that goes around and the top is really pretty as well. It has this beautiful lace detailing, some little lilac rosettes, and a little bow. You also have a little flutter sleeve with some lace and it is so pretty. So this is from Tosca and I think that it is probably from the 1960s. It's really cute, um, really girly, and I wish that it came with a matching pajama, but it didn't. But this is really, really pretty. Um, also, if you are wondering, the nightgown that I am wearing is from For Love and Lemons. I'm not sure if they still have it, but if they do, I will leave it linked down below. It's really pretty, very glamorous, and I think you guys will really like it. This is an ultra glamorous robe from a brand called Peony, and and to me, it looks like 1960s or 70s. It's really, really pretty. <laughs> so the background is this really stunning sage green color, and it's in this um, beautiful, like, silky material. There's embroidery all throughout of um, different florals and birds, and it is really really stunning, like a piece of art. And then you also have these beautiful clasps that go all the way down. The sleeves have a little bit of a different pattern and texture. They are so pretty. There's also some pockets. And yeah, I just, I really love the look of this one. And here is what it looks like open. I cannot believe how glamorous they were back then. I totally wish it was still like that. <laughs> now let's move on to coats. So this is probably my favorite out of my vintage coat collection. <laughs> I really, really love the color, even though I'm definitely more of a pink girl. I think it is so beautiful and um, just kind of a sign of the times. So I think that this is probably late 50s, early 60s, and the brand is Glenbrook. I could definitely see Mrs. Maisel wearing something like this. <laughs> so it has this beautiful fur collar and it also has fur on the sleeves and it has these giant buttons that go down the front. There's a pocket and it has a sort of like swing shape. It's so beautiful, so warm. I have worn this out and about and every single time I get so many compliments on it. It's just really beautiful. And if you're wondering, this is what it looks like open. And here's another green coat, <laughs> although a different shade. So this one is from a brand called The Colony. I couldn't really find a lot about them, but just by looking at it, I would say this is late 50s, early 60s, more than likely um, in the 60s. But this one has a really beautiful collar and I think it actually might 
might be faux fur. It's so soft and just absolutely beautiful. This one also has some large buttons that go down the front, some pockets, and the color is more of a sea foam green while the other one was definitely more of like a green green. <laughs> but so beautiful, also very like Miss maisel -y. Really love the whole shape of it and also love the longer length on this one. And this is what it looks like open. It's so beautiful. I just love it. Now we have a black one and the design on this one is very similar to the first green one, although the length is kind of in between both of them. Uh, so this one is from a brand called Hinks of Berkeley and it has this beautiful fur collar and there's some large buttons that go down the front and then you also have a pocket. This one is very elegant, it's very sophisticated, very glamorous and really simplistic but it still does have that classic 60s look. It is really beautiful and very warm and I've gotten tons of compliments on this one as well. And here's what it looks like open. It has that classic swing shape and it has a very elevated look and oh my gosh, women were so like glamorous and stylish back in the day. I just love it so much. This is the last coat and it isn't branded, but I'm going to say that it looks like 1960s-ish to me. It's really cute. It has this um, black and like taupey cream um, plaid pattern all over and there's some pockets and it's got little bracelet sleeves and some large buttons that go down the front. Here's a look at the lapel. Um, it's really cute, very roomy. It has that classic like 1960s look to it. Um, this one was actually in really bad shape when I got it so I had to like sew up a lot of things on the interior. It has a really beautiful red interior um, but yeah not good. Um, and this coat and the other black one and then the first green one were actually given to me by one of my guitar students' parents. Um, she knew that I loved vintage things and she's also a collector and um, yeah, she gave me some coats and I really love them. And this is what it looks like open. Here's the red interior. <laughs> it definitely has Emily in Paris vibes and actually I did a video um, years ago where I shared like an Emily in Paris lookbook and I believe I wore this coat. I will leave it linked right here if you haven't checked it out. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you love this video and I hope that you are looking forward to more from this little series. Um, I would love to know which item was your favorite from my vintage clothing collection. Also, do you collect anything? Are you also a vintage or antique collector? I would love to know what you collect. Even if it's not vintage or antique, I would love to learn more. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you like this video, make sure you hit the big thumbs up below and don't forget to share and subscribe. I would love to have you as part of the community. Also for all my shoe lovers, don't forget to check out Hanson Shoes linked down below. And if you want to see even more feminine fashion, beauty, and lifestyle content, make sure you check out my blog, lizzieandlace.com. And don't forget to follow along on my pretty pink Instagram at Lizzie and Lace. I will see you next time. Bye!